Do you have a child who's eight years old or older? You're not quite off the hook yet with brushing. Stay tuned for more information. Hey y'all, my name is Amy Morgan and I'm the marketing coordinator here for Pediatric Dental Associates and Orthodontics. And in this video, we're gonna be talking to you about tips, tricks, and tools that you can use if your child is ages eight and above. Here at PDANO, we are always trying to educate parents and let them know exactly what tools they need to make sure that their children are getting the proper oral hygiene at home. So in this video, we're gonna start with ages eight. And this goes from ages eight to, a, you know, till they're out of your house. Most of the time, they're gonna be able to use the same size toothbrush, same type of toothpaste, same type of floss, all of that from this age going forward. But you wanna make sure that they are brushing. So we say this at every age to make sure they're brushing two times a day for at least two minutes and flossing once a day but you really have to keep track of kids at this age. At this age, they should have gained the dexterity to be able to brush on their own. So prior to this, you might have had to help them just a little bit more, and we highly suggest helping them. But once they reach this age, if they can tie their shoes, you're gonna be able to kind of let them do it on their own and kind of let them have free range as far as brushing their teeth. But you still wanna make sure that you are checking on them make sure they're actually brushing, make sure they are hitting the spots that maybe the dentist recommended that they're missing during their last appointment. So you still have to kind of have some direction and some guidance there, but you don't necessarily have to stand there and hold the toothbrush with them. It does not matter whether they use a manual brush or an electric brush, both work perfectly fine as long as the child knows the proper way to brush their teeth. If you need some instructions on how to properly brush your teeth, there's a link in the comments to show you exactly how to get that done. Now, we've already mentioned flossing, but you really wanna make sure at this age that they are doing this at least once a day. We usually recommend doing this with their nighttime brushing, but you want to make sure that they are actually flossing. It does not matter if they use a floss pick or the regular string floss, as long as they are flossing and using the proper technique. Now again, just as we recommended for brushing, we also have a video that shows the proper way to floss. That can also be found in the comments below. Along with proper brushing and flossing, you want to make sure that your child's food and dietary habits go along with a proper oral hygiene routine. So you wanna make sure that they're not drinking a lot of energy drinks. In fact, at PDANO, we recommend you just throw those out and never give them to them. But we understand kids are kids and they're going to want to drink these fun things and we understand that. Along with the energy drinks and sodas, you wanna make sure that you are keeping them away or at least having them limit the consumption of things like Cheez-Its, crackers, and chips. The carbohydrates in these items can actually turn into sugar, which then causes cavities. So you just wanna make sure that you are watching what they're doing. We also recommend that you do not allow them to graze. So especially at this time right now, a lot of kids are home during the summer. So you really wanna make sure that they're not just sitting around on the couch with a bag of chips all day. That prolonged contact with the teeth is what causes a lot of those cavities to occur. Once they've reached this age of eight years old and up, they are independently able to grab snacks and drinks and everything they want from the cabinet. So you really want to be mindful and keep an eye on what they are consuming because the real secret to making sure that they're taking care of their teeth is actually watching what they're eating along with the brushing and the flossing. So this all has to work together in order for them to create a healthy smile. Brushing and flossing seem obvious, right? You wanna make sure they're brushing two times a day, no matter how old they are. You wanna make sure they're flossing as soon as their teeth touch, and you wanna make sure they're consuming the proper drinks and food for proper nutrition for their whole body, but also for their teeth. But one of the questions that we get a lot, especially when you get to the 13 and up stage of this, is can my child bleach their teeth? And as a dental office um, here, we just wanna make sure that you understand when bleaching can be done and when it should not be done. Now, number one, if they do not have all their permanent teeth, absolutely not. Bleaching does nothing for baby teeth, so just stay away from it until at minimum they get their permanent teeth in. And then 
only use any type of bleaching agent if you have consulted with your dentist. We'll want to make sure that they are using all the proper techniques that they need to be doing for brushing and flossing and that they have excellent oral hygiene before you introduce any type of bleaching. This can really harm their permanent teeth if you start without a dentist consultation. This includes any type of over-the-counter whitening strips, a whitening toothpaste, or any type of tubes of whitening gel. 